Good morning, folks. If you missed yesterday's show and the magnetic reversal update, check it out. North Pole has reached a critical progress point. Meanwhile, sunspots are departing. Let's go to spaceweathernews.com and find the last day in our star much quieter than it was a week ago. We've got no eruptive behavior, no solar flare activity. We have more sparse coronal holes expected to be modest at best. There are plasma filaments writhing around large portions of the corona, but none erupting or threatening geospace to do so. And the solar wind is calm as well. Either those CMEs missed the mark, or they were ultra-weak. That's our bet. Geomagnetic conditions can feel free to skip around calm green range all day. As we enter the weekend, we've got severe threats in the United States. The central low drawing in on the leading eastern wind convergence should hit the central corridor three nights in a row, starting tonight. We're going next to Russia, where a 100-foot-deep sinkhole has opened up, reminding us all of just how enormous the gaps in the 60-mile crust can be. Near the surface, they lead to this. Folks, nitrogen dioxide is one of the most health-attacking pollutants on Earth, and the ESA's multimedia week continues apparently with this sequence of all the NO2 air detection data for months. We're going next to a chemtrailed star. Sort of. Aluminum oxide spectrally resolved around a recently born star. These are allegedly going to make up the meteorites of the system, and whenever life grows there, advances, and starts having dumb ideas, they'll spray it in the sky. Let's stay in space but scale up the object. Galactic encounters, mergers, collisions actually leave distinct marks on the affected galaxy. This one has sideswipe written all over it. Hubble snapped a shot of NGC 4485 like a battle-scarred warrior in the night sky. Cosmic mosh pit. Let's go next to exoplanets. We recently heard a debunking of Proxima b. Today it's the opposite. Kepler 62f confirmed in fact to be a real exoplanet. Doubt had been cast in recent months. Let's come back to space weather. Saudi Arabia in 2015 and 2017 saw the first ever timed up electrical disruptions during major solar storms. Well, they got a magnetometer fleet right away and began noticing just how much telluric and geomagnetic variation is, even for them. Mission considered highly successful at step one. Speaking of solar bursts, indeed we come now to the resolution of a hypothesis now six years old. Solar wind and particle storm shockwaves are magnetohydrodynamic, not kinetic. This is why they can hold on to so much of their power even as they expand and lose density, and this is why a titanic blast all the way over on the far side of the sun can send high-energy protons screaming towards Earth. All the fun reasons to watch the sun, right? Folks, we greatly appreciate your support. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close, and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here. But right now, it's 4.20 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.